Hi everybody, my name is Steve Joso. I'm here at the Sonax Research and Development Center in Vermont. In Vermont. And uh, today we're here to talk to you about uh, some torque converter upgrades that are available. Everybody knows Sonax for their great transmission fixes and uh, upgrades, but what you may not know is uh, that we're a full line torque converter supplier, torque converter component supplier to the aftermarket, and we have uh, some great upgrades for uh, building torque converters as well. Uh, you're going to get a chance to see what's inside uh, a performance converter as we build uh, a unit for Ray Lichtenberg and his hated Cyclone uh, that he's modified to produce uh, 900 horsepower and about 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, we're going to uh, take this opportunity to upgrade uh, the converter that's going to take it from this 300 millimeter style converter uh, that he's currently running and we've built a really nice performance upgraded kit using a 258 millimeter core with an upgraded clutch, front cover, and Sprague cartridge assembly. Okay, now we're ready to build Ray's converter. What we have here on the bench is uh, the complete Sonax kit. Uh, it's a great kit, and we've chosen a kit to fit with a 258 millimeter GM converter. The kit includes a billet front cover, uh, new clutch plates, Sprague cartridge, turbine hub, impeller hub, uh, and all the other hardware uh, that you're going to need uh, for a converter to builder to put this together. Uh, converters are complicated. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a do-it-yourself, don't try this at home uh, kind of thing, uh, but the, the Sonax components are precision engineered to fit and function uh, really well. And uh, once you have this kit, uh, a converter builder would need to get a GM 258 millimeter core uh, that they would cut open what we're showing here to harvest some of the core components that will mate up with this. And uh, on the far right, what I'm showing is a 300 millimeter core. That's the style of converter that Ray's running today. And you can see he's going to end up with a much smaller diameter, higher stall converter that's going to be mated uh, right to the power band of his engine and perform really well. We got a few things we're going to show you about the converter we're going to build for Ray. Uh, the first thing we want to show you is the clutch plate, and I'll start off with the clutch plate that came out of the 300 millimeter converter. You can see uh, we call this a single disc clutch because there's one friction ring, and you can see that it is the woven carbon, the OEGM material. And if you switch over to our clutch plates, you can see they're smaller diameter because we're going to a smaller diameter converter. Uh, to give Ray the stall speed he needs. Uh, but instead of having just one friction ring, uh, on this plate there's one, two, and then three, and this side there is no friction on that side. So instead of one slightly larger diameter ring, you get these three smaller diameter rings that give you more clutch capacity. Uh, the other thing to know is about the material itself. Exclusive to Sonax, we have access to the OE material. And it's really nice to be able to put that uh, in the kits and, and have the clutch material calibrated to the units dead straight away. Um, the other thing uh, to know about these is that we've gone to a damperless setup. Uh, flipping this piston over, you can see that there's a spring damper that will cushion uh, the application here uh, when it goes into lockup. And that's great if you've got a pickup truck or an SUV or something like that. But in a, a really high performance or high horsepower application such as Ray's, he's going to bottom this out. With all that foot-pounds of torque he has, he can just take these springs and compress them, and he risks fracturing this whole assembly. So to combat that, we've gone to a solid damperless piston plate um, that won't rupture, that won't bottom out springs. Uh, in the background here, you can see the difference between the two covers. Uh, the OE covers, the 300 millimeter cover, are just stamped steel. So there's, they're made from a single sheet, uh, uh, um, and they're placed in uh, big presses. And whatever the thickness is here is essentially whatever the thickness is down here. And that's bad news because the clutch needs to ride on a heavy, thick steel uh, uh, surface here and that's what this billet clutch or billet cover allows you to have. Uh, you can have a thin section up here 
But down here, where the clutch rides, it's a very thick uh, section that, that won't warp, won't twist, won't bend, uh, and uh, it, it works great uh, when you need lockup in high horsepower applications. And uh, we also give you uh, three bolt patterns for the, the popular Chevy bolt pattern. So the kit will made up to a variety of flex plates and engines, no problem. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Sprague uh, and the stator assembly. You can see I've got uh, over on the right here the impeller and the turbine from our donor 258 core. Uh, and when you cut it open, we also got this Sprague and stator assembly. The stator is this aluminum casting with these fins that are cast uh, and angled and numbered in a specific way to assist with uh, stall speed and torque multiplication. Uh, when we cut the converter open, we knew that we didn't want this stator casting. Uh, something more effective in Ray's application where he needs straight line performance, he needs uh, autocross performance, uh, and even deceleration. Uh, it's important uh, to have a different stator casting and we harvested this casting from another core. We drop in a complete new uh, um, sprag cartridge that's part of our kit and instead of having the spring and roller clutch, it's got the, uh, a brand new sprag that's conservatively rated at 1,000 foot-pounds, and it'll give Ray the performance he needs for that autocross application. Okay, we've uh, got Ray's converter all stacked up, and we went ahead and welded it. We leak-checked it and balanced it. So Ray and the Cyclone are going to be hitting the road in the Optima series. Uh, we wish him luck this year. It'll be a great year for Ray. Talk to your converter specialist this winter. See if a performance upgrade is good for you. Remember, don't throw away all that horsepower. Uh, get it to the rear wheels. And if you have any questions, check out Sonax.com.